and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147 So, for tip and trick number seven. Now, for the last one, we talked about marking up a clear cover sheet so that you stuck it down the right way, etc. However, if you're like me, this is my well-used tip and trick when it comes to a clear cover diamond painting is to take it off. I personally don't like working with clear cover sheets. I like the poured glue but I don't like the cover sheet. There's one main reason for that. When it has a clear cover on and you can see all the symbols, I find myself chasing symbols up the canvas. So I'll have my diamonds in a tray and I'll be doing this section and then I'll be like, oh, there's just one up there, there's just a couple up there. And it ends up moving about and I don't get a complete section finished because I've sort of gone all over the place. Now, some people like that, some people don't. I personally don't, I prefer to do a section and then move on to the next one. So this is what I use. These are cover sheets or release papers, they're also called. They're double-sided, waxy, on either side so that you can place them down either way. So you can place it that way or you can place it that way. They often, they come in a couple of different sizes or there's a few different sizes that you can get. This is the size that I sell in, in my shop, which website's there. Um, this is the size that I sell because this is a perfect size for me for working on a painting. And you can overlap them a bit, you know, when you place them down. And I don't particularly place them down in any you know, fancy way, all I do is cover the whole of the painting. I do it slightly different on larger paintings, but I will um, do that in another tip and trick. But for example, painting like this, because I know that the painting is likely to stay, you know, this size, I don't need to roll it up or anything like that to work on it because it's so small. I do it like this and then I can take off that piece and work on that section and I'm not seeing all the other symbols that are about. Um, these are reusable so I actually store them in the likes of a passport holder so once I've started doing that section I'll slip it in there, I'll do that section then I'll move on to the next one and I'll pop it away in there so that they're ready for my next painting. I can also then lift some up and straighten them up because of course when I first put them down I've not really paid attention and I'll keep going all the way until the painting's finished. Um, so yeah, quite a, I mean many people use this, this sort of tip in diamond painting. This is probably one that's there more for a beginner but cover papers release papers parchment paper works as well you're best getting double-sided non-stick because you wouldn't want to put it the wrong way up a bit like you can do with the cover sheets um, you can't use I think it's there's another type of paper I think it's baking paper that doesn't work it needs to be non-stick and um, preferably double-sided. The release papers I tend to find are the most reusable. Parchment paper you can use, I think it's a bit thinner which is what means it won't give you as many life cycles maybe, as many cycles before it becomes out of, you know, no longer usable. But yeah, these are absolutely perfect for sectioning up a diamond painting. And the, the ones that I have, I'm quite happy, the ones that I sell, I'm quite happy with that square being sort of, you know, a piece to work on. You can always section it off even more by overlapping them. 
So if you actually took off that full section and go, oh, actually, I've only got half an hour to do some diamond painting today, then just section it off even more. You still get to do a section and the rest is there waiting when you've got a bit more free time. So that's my tip for today. Ditch the clear cover completely and um, make your own that suits. It will work on double-sided tape as well. You can use this on double-sided canvases, though they tend to come with some sort of paper over the top. So it's up to you whether you want to take that off and change it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.